एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ट्रबल फ्री इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज डिज़ाइन क्वालिटी इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द डिज़ाइन प्रोसेस राइट सो वी हैव थ्री प्रिंसिपल्स इन दैट एंड हाउ डू वी अचीव दो थ्री प्रिंसिपल्स यूजिंग फ्यू गाइडलाइंस विच आर मैंशनड इन द डिज़ाइन क्वालिटी ओके सो डिज़ाइन क्वालिटी इज़ नथिंग बट इट इज अ it it has a set of guidelines which you need to follow for getting a design with good quality so you need a design with good quality right if you get a, a good design then only the next steps the coding the testing the deployment all those next steps will happen uh, successfully in the software development life cycle so we have few things to keep in our mind while um creating a design with good quality now let's see what are those things first one the design should reflect the meaning of the actual system actual system means at the end what how do you want your project to look like or how do you want your software to look like okay so at the end what what how do you want it to look like so that should be reflected in your design okay and next the design should be implemented based on the requirements obtained from the previous step of the sdlc that is obvious right so in in sdlc uh, we have requirements gathering right uh, once you gather the requirements then you will go with uh, designing or in between there might be planning there might be analyzing it depends on um, you know it depends on use case to use case but on a high level i'm telling you once you gather your requirements next you will start designing so whatever requirements you are gathering in the previous step in the um, requirements gathering step your design should be implemented based on those requirements only okay next you should you should not miss the miss any of those requirements or you should not add any additional requirements as per your wish you have to strictly follow those requirements only okay next the design should clearly represent all the interfaces in the system this will is creating the connection between different components or modules of the software simple see so let's say what do you mean by interfaces in sim simply let us understand them as screens so you'll be seeing some screens right you'll have home page you sorry you'll have login page okay then you will have home page then you'll have orders page then you'll have payment page and then you'll have summary page okay so your design should clearly represent each and every screen how login page should look how home page should look how this page how each and every page should look and also how they are connecting with with each other in login page so this is your login page here you enter your username here you enter your password and here you have your let's say login button okay this is the login button so your your design should clearly tell that so once you enter your username and password and when you click this button when you hit on this button then you have to go to the home page okay and on home page on which button when you hit so and so button you go to so and so page everything has to be clearly specified in your design okay next the design should have all independent modules and dependent modules specified so what all dependent and independent modules you have in your system all those should be clearly defined okay next all the elements such as data the architecture the interface and the components everything should be clearly defined that means um what what kind of data you're going to use what how the architecture of your system should look like how they communicate and all on the high level and interfaces as i just told and also the components what are different components are there like we have buttons we have text boxes everything so which button should be placed where everything has to be clearly defined okay and using this design a software engineer should be able to come up with a data structure which is suitable for the implementation process like what kind of data structure you want to use to implement so and so functionality so by looking at that design the software engineer should be able to figure out okay so for implementing this kind of functionality we need this data structure so that they should be able to figure out just by looking at the uh, design software engineer in the sense here it is whatever developer or whoever people are involved in that whoever software related people are involved in that okay so these are the six principles that you have to six principles or guidelines that you have to follow while designing so that you get a good design so that you get a design with a good quality so first thing is the design should reflect the meaning of the actual system 
and it should be implemented only based on the requirements that you gathered from the requirements gathering phase and your design should clearly represent each and every interface which is present in the system so that you can understand how each and every uh, screen is interacting with each other and your design should uh, show all the independent modules and the dependent modules and all the elements like data architecture components everything should be clearly defined in your design and the software engineer should be able to figure out the data structure based on the design that you have provided okay so yeah guys this is all about this video uh simple and uh yeah it's it's simple theory concept let me know if you have any um questions in the next video let's continue with design concepts and, and all design related things and yeah uh if you have any video recommendations for me let me know in the comment section thanks for watching the video till the end